Hey guys, Matt here once again with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. So this video, I wanted to show you how to update your Ledger Live and your Nano, uh, whether it's an S or an X. Uh, today's going to be on the X, but just showing you how to look for the firmware versions and make sure things are correct. So let's jump in and let's get started. All right. All right. So moving on down here. So we're going to pull up Ledger Live. There we go. All right, so I gotta type my password. And then you're gonna see up here, it says Ledger Live 2.9.0 is available for update. Obviously you're gonna download now. And in my previous video, I showed that uh, it comes out in stages. So maybe if your Ledger Live doesn't show that right now, wait a few days or wait maybe a week or two and you'll be able to see that update. Um, all right, so let's jump on re install now. All right, and then it resets itself. I'm gonna type in my password. Fantastic, it lets me know the updates and the fixes. Moving on, let's, let's get out of this. All right, so there we go. So now let's go to settings. I'm gonna show you in settings here. You're gonna to go to accounts, actually you're gonna to go to about, and right there, it's gonna tell you 2.9.0. That is the most recent update. Um, but then you also want to check your Nano X. I have it plugged in right now. Uh, you're going to go to Manager. All right, so now we're going to connect our device. Then we're going to put in our PIN code to unlock it. All right, so then once you get into the Manager section of your Nano X, in this case, this is mine here. Um, it already has Bitcoin and Ethereum apps installed because I did a video previously on that so you guys can see how to do that yourself. So it's telling me that I have 1.2.4-1 as the firmware on my Ledger Nano X uh, and it tells me right up here firmware version 1.2.4-2 is available. So I'm going to update that firmware. All right, it gives me what's new on the firmware, better user experience, etc, etc. Yes, I have my recovery phrase. Let's move forward. And so then it's gonna go through the system here and it may take a couple minutes, just keep that in mind, be patient and you should be good to go once it reaches that 100%. You're gonna do the confirmation and move on and then you guys are good to go. All right, and so then on your actually Nano X, it's gonna ask uh, for you to confirm. Uh, there's a special code that is there. You're gonna confirm that and you're gonna move on to the update within the Nano X. You'll see here it says device in bootloader mode. Click on continue to update it. And it does show bootloader mode on my Nano X. I'm not going to show it to you because I don't want to mess the connection and then suddenly mess up the whole firmware update. All right. So we are connected. Perfect. Firmware updating. It's just going through its system here. Got to get that morning coffee in, you know? All right, so now it says it is updated and please reinstall the apps on your device. All right, so now it's asking me to unlock my Nano X, put in the pin code to do so. All right, then come on down here and click install on both the Bitcoin and Ethereum apps here. And then once everything installs, you'll see here the progress bar is moving there on the Bitcoin. All right, good. There we go. And then the Ethereum is going to go as well. Give it a moment. Takes its sweet little time here as well, but it doesn't take too long. So you should be good. All right, there we go. And then you're going to go ahead and manage my accounts here. You're going to click on that. There you go. Uh, go ahead and download the Bitcoin app. It's going to check on the device. Make sure to un unlock the device on your account, or I I'm sorry, on the Nano X, and make sure that you select the proper app that is there already. So once you do that here, it will check everything. It's checking the accounts, certification, add account. Boom, there you go. Let's do the Ethereum one as well now. Checking the device, make sure you're in the proper app and it's unlocked. 
All right, there we go. And now it's checking the account as well. It's creating it. Give it a moment here so that it can synchronize and then give confirmation. Great, there you go. And click done. And there you go. You're installed. And here's what it'll look like on the main screen here for you. Apps installed and then the apps catalog. You can even download more apps if you would like to. But just wanted to give you a quick overview of what it looked like. All right, guys, so that is how you update your Ledger Nano X. If you have any further questions, let me know. I'd be more than happy to assist you any way that I can. But it's pretty self-explanatory. You just go through, you collect, or not collect, you select, continue, update, and you go through your PIN code. Make sure you put that in correctly, and you're good to go from there. Um, always keep your recovery phrase backed up. Like I said, you use those cards that you get with your Nano X and S. Keep those safe. Keep those hidden so you can pull them out and make sure that everything is correct on your Nano X or your Nano S. You never want to lose those recovery phrases because then you can lose your crypto assets if you lose the recovery phrase. So always keep that in mind. Keep everything safe. You are your own bank. You must double check everything to make sure it is safe. This is not like re getting a recovery password on Facebook or, or, or on Instagram, okay? This is different. You are in charge of your own assets. So make sure you do that and make sure you stay safe with your crypto assets. This is it for today, guys. Hope you enjoy this firmware update. Make sure to keep everything updated on your uh, ledgers, on your Trezos uh, hardware wallets. Um, do not let things go out to date because that becomes a security risk. So hope you enjoy this video. Like, subscribe, and comment below on any comments you may have going forward. More than happy to assist you guys any way that I can. Have a fantastic morning, day, whatever it is for you guys, and I'm out.